Namaste Dosto. I am in Lay and uh, I'm without my beloved Jasmine. So I'm feeling that one at the moment. She's still in Udapur. Why am I in Lay? Because our company, the company Yasmin and I have uh, Good Vibrations Motorcycle Tours. We are hosting a tour up here in Ladakh. And wow, my gosh, this place, getting off the plane, surrounded by these mountains. It's just like a wee wee taste. It is just extraordinary. But as soon as I got off the plane, the atmosphere and the feeling of this place absolutely blew me away. So you guys are going to get to be on the road with me for the next 12 days. And this is where we're staying today. And I'm feeling altitude, man. I'm really feeling it. We're at 10,000 feet. And my body's tingling, a little bit of out of breath. I feel a little dizzy. So I'm going to my hotel room just to chill out and relax because I've got to let my body adjust to this. Welcome to Good Vibrations Ride Your Heart Out Motorcycle Tour. So our, our bikes have arrived and uh, <clears throat> after a big sleep this morning, still adjusting to the altitude, it really gives tingles through your body and every now and then you're like, whoa, I need to take a breath. As soon as you try to walk upstairs, and nah. So it's a real thing, doesn't matter how tough you think you are, you feel it here. Uh, but, here we have it. A collection of very tidy Himalayas. That's the 411. Never ridden one of these before. Looking forward to it. The, sen the sensations and symptoms of the uh, altitude are crazy. they um, not getting headaches, which is great, but just needing to pee all the time. And you get like through your veins, like ice moving through your veins. It's the craziest of feeling, like I feel hot because it's like 21 degrees and the sun's blazing and then there's this kind of like icy sensation running through your skin. So a uh, whole new experience for me. This is the first, the first <laughs> run of our Good Vibration t-shirts and <clears throat> you all have one. Oh good. Yes, <laughs> <Super> <laughs> So <clears throat> this is what they look like. Oh, yay. <laughs> and uh, just a slightly different material to, because um, I think they look better. There they are. Nice. Oh, very, yeah. nice. Yeah. very nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah. 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 You okay? Did you check the spelling? Oh, I'm going to Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm concerned about. Yeah. I'm just checking now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looks good. And they, uh, this is the sort of thing you look at so many times, then you look at it later. And, and you like, go, oh, oh bugger. Yeah. <laughs> In Indian colours, these are for you to keep. So yeah. I've got a large. <laughs> there we are. Oh, man, you've missed your career, Lawrence. <laughs> I'll, um, You're pulling this off beautifully. Yeah. Uh, these up later. Yeah. Good vibrations. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's really happening. We're going to go for a ride around the village, fill the bikes up, get a good feeling for them, get to know which bikes are going to be ours for the next 12 days. <laughs> okay, it looks like. This is the bike I'm going to be building a relationship with for the next 12 days. I'm looking forward to riding it on the land. They're only a couple of years old, which is also a bonus. Brand new tyres on the front. I've been well looked after. Sonny's very happy with the condition of it. There's a couple of things that have really stood out already here. One is the architecture. It's a real blend of beautiful, a beautiful uh, wooden framing, a, a really golden light coming off it, and then these kind of mud walls, concrete walls. So that's one of the things that's really stood out. <laughs> Interesting filming. The other thing, I must say, the other thing that's really stood out is the actual the people. There's a real warmth and friendliness in the people, and um, yeah, it's a, you know you get it in India everywhere, but it, it's really noticeable here. And the dogs, the dogs is the other thing that I'm noticing. The dogs have their own kind of special energy and attitude. Yeah, you can see up in the hill of the palace, it's now a museum. 
welcome to Lay. And something's brand new and for the first time it always feels a little more interesting. You do it a few times and it just becomes routine but here we are doing our first fuel stop. Well we've lost sight of the rest of the crew on the first little tiki tour ride. Big test for so Kat and I are just we just decided to take ourselves a bit further. They uh, took off a bit too quick so it's a good good thing to get sorted early is if a captain's a little too fast but look at this look at this and it's the stillness and the quiet and the mountains and the feeling of the snow so we could just stop here for a bit cat couldn't we <laughs> sunny's on the back we're riding up to this stupor up here we get an amazing view of a lake and it's just you're gonna hear me say this a lot in the video, but it's just so beautiful. Like the austerity is something else. Wow. Spread of these green poplars, poplar trees, and then these just grand rocks just pushing up out of the, the ground. And then you have this. It's really, really something special. So here we are, top of Shanti, uh, Shanti Stupa, Peace Stupa, and it's actually quite new, it was built in 1989, but the site that it's on has always held an energy that people have been drawn up to, like so many sacred sites, and it holds such a presence, such a presence, inviting us to remember peace. Oh my god, look at that with those mountains behind it. And the light of the surda, the sun, the clouds. Wow. It is something special. These rugged hills. Like, it's this great slopes of shingle and gravel that obviously in half the year is covered in snow. But my god, it's just such, captures such a beauty. A little half amphitheatre down here, which is literally just dust and dirt, like a moonscape. <laughs> and <it came> to <laughs> lay. It's even a cricket pitch, and looks like a little racetrack down there. It's not a big town, it's spread out, and there's lots of fields in between the, the houses, it's more the main city, sort of the temple, are they, sorry, the township more is over this way. And if you can see it, because it blends in with the rock, there's the old palace just there. We're surrounded by these Buddhas. My guess will be there were 108. In each image, again an invitation and a reminder of the state of being that we all can achieve. A place of calm and grace. Ultimately that space of peace that exists inside of all of us. That's what I love about these places. They, um, they, they make us question. They make us think about kind of the pace that we live our life. One of the reasons Jasmine and I have made such big change is because we wanted more of that feeling. Oh, <clears throat> first afternoon, I'm out of breath. I'm at over 10,000 feet and uh, I'm feeling a little bit in love. But I do wish, I do wish my beloved was here with me. She would be having a big smile on her face. There's a little bit of lay trivia, that truck, that white truck moving up there, that is part of the all-woman police station. So lay as an all-woman police station. We're just heading up to the market over here. And uh, 
I guess you're just enjoying a bit of shopping. <clears throat> Walking through the main market street of Leigh. It's about 6 30 in the evening. And it's just very beautiful. Prayer flags all fluttering in the wind. Morning friends. Namaste Dosto. We've got our first big day's ride today. We're just Sunny, who tries to run away from the camera, is working his magic and making sure the bikes are all sorted. We've had to swap one over already. Doing the brake pads, getting the bikes fitted out, getting their blessing flags on them. Getting the fuel drained out of the bike we're leaving behind. And uh, this is our backup vehicle. See what adventures it adventures adventuate today. So looking forward to riding. All right. Um, good vibrations, crew. This is kind of exciting. As I said yesterday, a uh, big dream for me to be riding these roads. And uh, what a great crew we've got with us as well. Without Sunny by, I don't know what we'll be doing. But in the tradition of all of our tours, we continue to give gifts. And we're going to start with. Something twinkly. Something twinkly. Okay, so these are each for you to carry on your bike, on your keyring. There's one for you, Catherine. There's one for you. Thank you. Oh, you And one for you, Lawrence. Thank you. And there's maybe one for me. And where's Sonny? He gets to have one as well. It's just so you can find us when we get yeah, lost. Yeah, so basically if we get lost, just <laughs> ring the bell so we know where you are. <laughs> and if we lose the key... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got GPS tracker. The bell. GPS tracker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the other thing too, because this journey is, it's, as I said yesterday, this is more than just getting on bikes and riding and having fun. That's part of it. It's also about that safety Good journey. Idea. There's uh, a journey of self-discovery as much as it is road discovery. Now whether someone like Tony discovers anything more of himself, that will be an interesting part of it. <laughs> but it's, it's a guaranteed thing that like yesterday, little challenges come up and we end up meeting parts of ourselves that we, we have to navigate and learn to operate with. I just really encourage us to stay open to it. So, in that good spirit of acknowledging the sacred of life, you each now get to carry your own sacred scarf, <laughs> blessed by the gods. One for you. I'll give you a green one. Green one. Mm -hmm. This is colour. Oh, great. Thanks for you. I get the purple. Yeah, you get the purple. <laughs> and now we get from these guys. Good luck, Good luck. Good luck from us. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Just riding through the military base here in the dark, and the landscape is just something extraordinary. As I said it earlier, it's kind of like a moonscape. But the dark has a heavy military presence because of its location and there uh, has been old occasions in the past. Stop for a photo, photo opportunity. This landscape, yeah, as I'm trying to find words to describe it because it's it's desolate but it's so beautiful in that austerity I'm gonna to to run out of superlatives but uh, yeah you get the picture what do you think Pam oh, stunning. isn't it Absolutely stunning. yeah like the emptiness yes. creates a whole different feeling doesn't it, does. it? Sunny was just explaining the reason we stop here it's Sungham viewpoint because it's a point where two rivers mix and it's always considered a little more sacred here. Yeah. It's understood that water is life. And I'm riding with a big silly grin on my face because it's, it's just so beautiful.
surrounded by these high peaks. We just come through a heavy military zone with radars out and I just remind you, just yeah, we might be smiling and having a great time, but the world is still in conflict. Such a contrast because you, you pass these Buddhist stupas which are all about inner peace. So the world's got to be a bit more work to do, I think. But this is glorious. Coming down through these valleys, you've got this vast barren rock that I've been talking about, and this sort of ancient hillsides and mountains, and then you get these oases of green, these strips of green, and these mud walls that fence off these small fields and orchards. And it's, um, it captures something which is timeless. And also very beautiful, these apple trees coming in, you can see the little apples coming in on them. And when these blossom, my god, this whole little valley through here would look amazing. Just small fields of grass and wheat. I think it's the contrast, it's the fact that, that it's just so barren out there at the moment we were riding. And then you've got this sort of like 100 meter strip with a river running through it. But, we've stopped the chai, the all-important morning chai stop. Had a lovely lunch at Moonland Royal Hotel, and now we're heading up to the Lemieux Temple, one of the oldest temples up here. Uh, still about 150 monks using it, looking forward to seeing it. In the audience, you see a number of people holding prayer wheels, spinning their prayers, and inside those wheels are, are written prayers. It's believed it's good for their dharma, for their life journey, for their karma, to be spinning their prayer wheels. It's a different form of the mala, really. We've just been to uh, the monastery behind us <clears throat> that is over a thousand years old and it's built around the cave in which the original teacher, I'm not even going to try and repeat the names, the original teacher reached enlightenment and this whole temple. And in fact, this whole village has been built around this sacred site. And the theory is that, the story is that this whole valley was once flooded. And in his prayer, it was requested that it was drained and wheat formed and a swastika formed on the hillside. And there, is a, there is a swastika still on the hillside. It's in the distance over there, you won't be able to see it. But what's extraordinary is that this is a, a living, breathing monastery and the monks sit with their little low tables and in the side walls are these ancient texts that they recite and there's all these Buddha Vistas, statues of them telling their stories of their journey of enlightenment and how they've impacted the world and how, like these teachers, some of them had many disciples, some only had a few because the presence on earth is what makes the difference and I've for years heard about these stories of great masters and teachers in the Himalayas and here I am standing in one of these sacred sites. What an honour, what an honour. Fortunately, unfortunately no filming inside but take my word for it, this is a very special place. 
<laughs> Just walking under the monastery now, and these mud hewn rock walls, these great arches of timber beams holding it up. Oh, I love the architecture. It just kind of births out of the ground, this stuff. Beautiful, beautiful monastery. <clears throat> These prayer wheels. I've been calling my prayer and that's around the whole monastery. As you walk around, spinning these ancient prayer wheels, reaching out to whatever force of love you turn your heart towards. Om Mare Padme Ham 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 What a road, Sonny. What a road. That was just amazing. But look at this behind us, these jagged peaks. I think we're at about 13,000 feet right now. We've got our Instagram photo spot. These moody clouds, there's rain over in the distance. This is wild beauty. You can see this. This area here in the rains, this is going to be really green through here, really, really green. This has been the most incredible road to run, honestly, it's like, I think my expression was, it's a motorcyclist wet dream. Just bend after bend after bend. Climb to about 13,000 feet above the monastery, and oh man, just, woo! You just want to whoop and woo and woo! -hoo. And this road is in amazing condition, it really is. So well looked after. It gets hammered by trucks. But it's uh, just an amazing motorcycling road. What a way to end our first full day's riding.
those of you who have been watching, I hope you're getting a little taste of what an extraordinary country this is. And what an amazing way to see it. On two wheels. It certainly gives you a great sense, a good sense of very happy vibrations. This is only day two. Woo! I am looking forward to what's coming. And how I wish my beloved was here with me. What a smile it'd be putting on her face.